The vaccine rollout has faced significant challenges, as you already know, especially for the nation's oldest Americans living in long-term care facilities. The federal government selected CVS and Walgreens to manage immunizations for this group. But critics say that their bungled response has been so bad, it's led to an increase in coronavirus-related deaths. A recent CBS News report looked into the, mat the matter rather to find out what is going on with the pharmacy chains. So Stephen Gendel is the author behind that article and is joining us now. Thank you so much for joining us, Stephen. So a lot of people may not know unless they have, you know, a loved one in a nursing home facility, you know, that CVS or Wal and Walgreens, they're responsible for administering this vaccine. So what do we know about the vaccine doses that they're administering? Um, that they've administered so far, rather. And, and, you know, why are critics saying that the pharmacies are not doing what they're supposed to do? Well, we don't know as much as we should. The federal government has hmm. uh, stopped giving regular data updates on this program, unlike the general vaccine rollout. CBS and Walgreens together say they've uh, administered about 3 million doses but we're still really mostly talking about first doses. And those have been, all the first doses have been administered in nursing homes. But when it comes to assisted living facilities, which was supposed to be part of this as well, CVS has only administered first doses in 18 states. So that means there's plenty more that need sec, uh, first doses. And then second doses may not happen until um, February, March. So. What people are saying is that CVS and Walgreens weren't ready. And one of the things they point to is these consent forms, which seems like an easy thing. But when it comes to a nursing home resident, many of them don't have the ability to sign their own consent form. You have to find a family member or mm. guardian. And it seems that CVS didn't do, and Walgreens didn't do the pre-work to make sure these forms would be all signed and ready to go when they showed up with the vaccines. That is very interesting. So we know in general the vaccine rollout, uh, it, it didn't go as promised, right? I think there were supposed to be 20 million doses or something along those lines by the end of December. That didn't happen across the country. So I have sort of a two-part question for you. How much of what we're seeing within the nursing homes is really a part of the greater problem of getting people vaccinated in this country? And have we heard any sort of pushback from CVS or Walgreens? So CVS and Walgreens, they never publicly um, committed to any kind of timeline. So, and what they're saying now mm. is that they're on timeline as the contract uh, from the government says, and, and the contract's not public, so we have no idea what that timeline was. Um, it's chaotic. Uh, they, they didn't really know uh, in terms of nursing home staff. We've had the same problem that we've had with nurses everywhere, that the vaccine um, acceptance rate, how many people are taking the vaccine, is lower than uh, we'd hope. So they have the same education problem that they've had everywhere, uh, making sure people believe mm. the vaccine is safe. Yeah. And they also didn't do that, again, pre-work to find out, okay, how many people are going to take this vaccine Another issue that CVS and Walgreens is saying is that they didn't realize is that, unfortunately, because there have been so many deaths in nursing homes, uh, they didn't know the current amount of people that were in beds. And so they sent a lot of extra doses to places where, unfortunately, people had passed. Again, it seems like this should be easy advance work that they didn't do. You read my mind. I thought to myself, obviously, I don't know anything about this sort of stuff, but it seems very basic to ask how many people want the vaccine so we can give you the desired number of doses. That's kind of like the ground floor when it comes to preparation. Things are going differently in West Virginia, though. What's the story there? So West Virginia is the only state uh, in the nation. Remember, there was a lot of pressure from the federal government to accept this uh, deal with Walgreens and uh, CVS. So uh, West Virginia is the only state in the nation that said, no, 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 we're going to do it ourselves. And the outcome has been much better. Uh, today, um, just today, they're going to finish, they say, all the doses, that's the first and second doses, they're going to finish administering those to all nursing homes 
and all assisted living facilities in their state. So they're done. And if you remember CVS and Walgreens, they said they just finished their first doses on Monday. So they've had a much better outcome. They, they, they're finished with this phase and they're ready to move on to other phases of the vaccine uh, distribution, which helps just the general population. And so a lot of people have been pointing to West Virginia as uh, a reason why it's clear that CVS and Walgreens have been behind if they're, you know, way, they're at least a month behind, if not more than uh, what had happened, what's happened in West Virginia. Very uh, quickly, Stephen, uh, you have someone you love in a nursing home. You haven't hugged them in, you know, a year. You want them to get the vaccine. Any sort of quick tips or advice you can give people? If, if your loved one is in a nursing home and hasn't got a vaccine, what I'm told, since CVS has said they're done with their first doses, they're not going to get a vaccine unless you advocate for them. CVS is apparently in Oregon mm. does not come back to, to get people that uh, haven't got it. So, but specialty pharmacies that, do, that work with uh, nursing cares, they're starting to be activated in part because CVS and Walgreens have been so slow. So you, you need to call your nursing home administrator, find out if the, the long-term pharmacy that they normally deal with for the rest of their prescriptions has been activated and set up that shot for your loved one uh, individually. That is good advice. Get in there and just do it yourself, essentially. Uh, well, not the vaccine, but, you know, advocate for your loved ones. Stephen, thank you so much. Great story. Nice to see you. So you, you can read more of Stephen's report on CVS and Walgreens on our website. Just head to cbsnews.com.